So these are both mutual funds that are large cap value mutual funds. So both of these managers are telling the world, hey, invest with me. My investment style is large cap value. All right, so they have the same style, at least in terms of what they're pronouncing to the world. <clears throat> but clearly, this person on the left is, is kind of sticking to home a lot more closely than the person on the right. All right, so, so the styles are the same, but how they go about interpreting their investment mission within that style are fairly radically different here, right? So, so in, for the purposes of, of, of our purposes in the, in the research, we're going to think of this person as having a more consistent investment style. You know, he or she is staying pretty close to home here. You know, they're, they're, they're sort of to the, to the blend side of value, but they're very large cap. By the way, just, just you can see where the S&P would plot. I don't know that you can see that's pretty small. But the S&P would be a very large cap blend fund. This fellow over here, on the other hand, although he's telling you he's large cap value at any moment in time, he could be you know, almost to the growth space or buying much smaller stocks in the mid cap. And does that matter? Well, again, go back to this. Of course it does. If you think you're buying a large cap value manager, and, and a guy's telling you that's what I'm doing. But what he's really doing is giving you mid-cap growth. You could end up with vastly different performance than you thought. And, and, and you know, the punchline is kind of this. If, 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 if you make a decision and that decision turns out to be wrong, well, you know, what the heck, you know, we'll, we'll try again next time. But if you make a decision and it goes awry because someone lied to you, lied strong, but, but, but someone did something other than what they told you they were going to do. That's kind of on them and that's a whole different issue. And, and, and so this is sometimes referred to style drift. Here is a manager who's telling you my style is large cap value, but he is letting it drift to mid cap. He's letting it drift you know, toward growth. So, so think of style drift, if you've heard that term, as kind of the flip side of the coin of style consistency. It's someone who is more inconsistent. So the question of the paper, and I'm giving you more setup than data just because I figure that's probably more interesting to look at you know, pictures like this than look at numbers. But the question that defines our research is, is all right, we know investment style matters. As a second order question, does the consistency with which managers follow whatever style that they've been mandated, does that matter as well? You know, said a little more plainly, if we look at the risk adjusted returns of this guy, are they better, <coughs> worse, or the same as the risk adjusted returns of this guy? All right, does this matter at all? The answer is going to be yes, it matters. And what we're going to see is that over time, people who look like this produce far superior risk adjusted returns than people who look like this. In other words, style consistency matters as well. All right, that, that's kind of the, the bottom line of, of the research.